Hello everyone, I'm Assistant Professor Ng Bing Fong, and today I'm going to give an overview of the Aerospace Engineering program at the School of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering at NTU. So this is me, in case you need to put a face to the voice, and do say hi to me whenever you see me around in school. Many years ago, just like many of you here, I was looking for an undergraduate degree program to study, and back then, I chose to study aerospace engineering. However, there were many questions in my mind. What do I learn from the program? What will I become after I graduate with an aerospace engineering degree? And to my parents, they were asking the same questions. And to them, when their kids enter university, the kids will study hard, make friends, do good projects. And when I told a stranger that I'm studying aerospace engineering, their first comment was, oh, there's space. So you become an astronaut. And to my friends, when they heard that I'm studying aerospace engineering, they thought that I would become a pilot. And to my peers who chose to study other majors, when they heard that I'm studying aerospace engineering, they thought it's going to be very difficult with lots of equations. And with all this, I think that I can really fly. However, what do I really do? So today, I'm going to talk about what the Aerospace Engineering Program at NTU is going to offer you. The Aerospace Program offers you many things, from the foundations to industrial exposure, global recognition, overseas opportunities, to flexible skill sets. And I'm going to talk about each of them one by one. Let us first look into the Aerospace Engineering Foundations. In this course, we will cover many modules on the fundamentals of flight. Many questions will be answered including who is the father of flight and you'll be surprised that it's not the right brothers how does an aircraft achieve stability why does the aircraft have its current shape how does an engine work and how do we quantify the performance of an aircraft what is the structure or material of an aircraft all these will be answered through the course in your three years of study where all the subjects are structured with increasing difficulty and exposure as you progress through the years Let's now move on to the industrial exposure that the program offers. To do so, we first need to understand the aerospace landscape in Singapore. The aerospace sector currently employs over 22,000 professionals in over 130 companies. This generates an output of 11.3 billion, which is a significant portion of the 500 billion GDP. The aerospace sector is predominantly MRO, meaning maintenance, repair and overhaul. There are also a significant amount of manufacturing, research, and auxiliary services. However, what's most impressive of our aerospace industry is that the maintenance, repair, and overhaul constitute 10% of the global share. In other words, 10% of the world's aircraft is serviced by Singapore. Imagine this, our population is not even 1% of the global population, yet our aerospace sector captures 10% of this MRO share. So you'll be asking, how are we able to do this? What can we offer that attract all this business? This all boils down to three things. The diverse R&D ecosystem through universities and research labs, strong talent pipeline, which is yourself, and as well as the dedicated infrastructure. A case in point is Rolls-Royce. Unlike many big companies, Rolls-Royce does not perform R&D in their own company. Instead, they park their R&D arm in universities to tap on talent, and in Asia, they chose Singapore for its global competitiveness, advanced manufacturing, digital readiness, trust and connectivity. And among the universities in Singapore, they chose NTU. There are many other reasons why they do so, but this is testament of NTU's capabilities and international reputation. Here is a list of some aerospace companies that you may be familiar with and the activities they carry out. There are many more companies that are not listed here. For instance, we have Rolls-Royce which does R&D, manufacturing, MRO and aftermarket service. Pratt Whitney and General Electric which are both engine manufacturers and are performing manufacturing and MRO here. Our homegrown ST Engineering, SIA Engineering that performs MRO. Tardis and Panasonic which does your in-flight entertainment system that offers you endless videos on your flight. Airbus and Boeing which are playmakers. All these companies have presence here in Singapore and our students in their third year will be required to perform industrial attachment in these companies. The industrial attachment offers students 
the opportunity to gain skill sets necessary for work and expose them to the working environment. It gives them the experience to different companies and enable them in making wise decisions when they graduate. We now move on to the global recognition and overseas opportunities that the program offers. The Aerospace Program at NTU is an accredited program. In other words, it is a program that is certified by international education bodies that enables the degree to be recognized throughout the world. Every few years, the school will undergo this process of accreditation to ensure the course remains relevant and are carried out to international standards. In fact, with your degree from NTU, you will be able to meet the academic qualifications required for overseas work or graduate level studies. Our students in their second year or third year will have the opportunity to travel overseas for exchange programs. In fact, NTU is pushing for all students to have this global exchange opportunity. I still remember back then when I was a student, my parents were extremely reluctant for me to perform a six months exchange in the US. However, I insisted and my parents finally agreed after I told them they could go traveling. They ended up traveling across the US from west to east and enjoyed more than myself. I learned many things along the way, including independence, different culture, and met many people along the way. This prepared me for work subsequently where I had to travel frequently and also to undertake my postgraduate studies in the UK. Here, we have a snapshot of the universities that students go for their exchange program. In the States, we have Georgia Tech, Amberido, University of Michigan, Iowa State University, RPI. In Europe, we have University of Glasgow, Strathclyde, Sheffield, Imperial College, TU Delft, KTH Sweden. In Asia, you have HKUST, Shanghai Jiao Tong, KAIST if you like K-pop. And there are many many more universities that you can choose from. Lastly, we take a look at the flexible skill sets that the course offers. Similar to all courses at NTU, the Aerospace Engineering Program is broad based, meaning to say, Students not only study for aerospace modules, they are also exposed to other areas including business, science, and arts. Students get to choose to study various electives from different schools in NTU, from computer science, business, arts, design, communication, including others. You'll be surprised that badminton and soccer are also part of the credit-bearing electives in NTU. From year one, our aerospace engineering students will also be exposed to modules that are closely in line with industry needs in areas of IoT, data, and additive manufacturing. Students will take computational thinking, data science as part of their first year module, and in subsequent years, other advanced manufacturing topics that align to Industry 4.0. In fact, you do not need to go to a computing school to learn computing. In aerospace, we teach you computing and how to apply them in an aerospace context. Data and computing are necessary skills in the industry. A case in point is Rolls-Royce, where the engine health monitoring program collects and records data online of engines that are flying in the air. This is to track their performance and to predict any abnormal behaviors. Through data, they can predict when the engines will fail or when the engine will require maintenance. One other aspect is 3D printing. Here in the School of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering at NTU, we house the Singapore Center for 3D Printing, which is one of the largest in the whole world. Students will be exposed to state-of-the-art manufacturing methods, equipping them with forward-looking skill sets that is well sought after by international firms. Digital Twin is another area which is widely adopted by companies and we train our students for it. This can come through modeling and simulations. It could be fluid structures or thermodynamic simulations. Imagine that an engine is designed and some parts modified. To know whether it works or what is the performance, you will need to build it. However, building and testing is very expensive. Before doing so, you can actually model the engine out in a computer and perform simulations based on physics or data to predict the performances. From there, optimization can be performed to reach a refined design that can be rolled out. With all this, I hope you have a better idea of aerospace engineering and is better equipped with the necessary information to make your decision. Join us and you can really fly. This comes to the end of my presentation. Feel free to email me if you have any questions or approach our friendly outreach offices. In the meantime, stay safe and I hope to see you in NTU. Goodbye.